Okay guys, this is Mike one with ATK Tech Junkies. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, the new Android, uh, which is running pretty smooth. Uh, everything works. So uh, here it goes. Uh, before you start, you need to go to XD Developers, which I'm going to show you. And uh, click on Leo HD2. And as you can see, what you want is you gotta go to Android Development. Click on that. And what you're gonna do is once it goes to that page, you're gonna go to the definitive guide to Android on HD2. And as you can see, just scroll down right here. This is what you're gonna do is click on the energy room. Let it load up and you're gonna go to download. Whoops. You can do the whichever one you want. See, so you got different. This is just a standard. Um, you can pick any one of these, just hit download. This is what you need anyway, it doesn't matter, but um, just download any one of these. Okay, just hit download. Okay. Once you download that, um, you're going to need to download the hard SPL, which is. You're gonna go down to how to install a radio. So what you want to do is click on the hard SPO. So you gotta download this. This is the most important thing to uh, load the custom ROM so you can put the new Android. Um, once you go to how to flash it, it's real simple. Just download. just pick any one of these and then just download it basically that's the screen you're gonna see and I will get to that in a little bit um, like I said just go in just click on the links okay click on the links and once you save it okay once you save the links this is what you're gonna see is on the You're going to see two files, which is the HSPL and the Energy ROM. But first off, we're going to do the uh, HSPL, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, guys, this is how you put in a bootloader. Okay, you got to take the battery out, make sure it plugs to the computer. All you do is hold down the volume button and uh, put your battery back in. And just wait for it to boot up. You see that? See how it boots up right here? Okay. Um, all you're going to do is you got to go to your hard SPL, which is on the computer. Okay. We're going to go to the hard SPL. Make sure you click on that. And just run it. This is what you're going to see pop up. Okay, the DFT. So once you see it pop up, that's a good sign. Remember, you're still in boot mode. Okay, all you do is click next. Don't worry about that, just ignore that. And once it reads it, you'll see it. 
So to see where it says that, just click next. And you see once it is hacked done, and that's the result. Watch this. See, we hacked it, and it's going to ask you, did you see it? Yes. And it's going to finish it up. As you can see, it says, we hacked it. So uh, it's finishing up right now. Just give it some time. OK. Successfully done. OK. And the phone is going to reboot itself. OK. Give it some time. See that? This is a T-Mobile logo, you can see. As you can see, the phone loads up without the SIM and the uh, memory card, correct? Okay. Okay, we're going to cancel it. See this? Okay, we're going to do it again. Okay, now we're going to put on the ROM. That's what's going to make the Android works, okay? All you do is remove the battery. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. Hold down the, uh, the, the uh, down volume button. Hold it down. And then put back your battery on. As you can see, it's going to load it back up. See that? Same thing, like the first time. That's how you get it. The easiest way to get it bootload, okay? Now, all you're going to do is click on the Energy ROM. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have it saved on your desktop. Click on that. And this is where Leo Software Upgrade. Click on that. Let it run. Look, it's still on bootload. Okay, now it's running. I'm going to show it to you guys. Just excuse all the background noise. I'm at work and trying to do this, so bear with me. Okay, once it loads up, as you can see, click next, hit next, and it's going to verify your phone and see what's going to do. Watch this. Okay. Once it says current information by HD, hit update, click next, and hit flash. And you'll see, see that? When it's, once it's flashing, and you see what it do to the phone, and I'll give you the update. As you can see, once it's done, just click finish, and it's going to take you to this screen because it's done. And what I want to show you guys is once it loads up, Okay, and then you're going to see it's the uh, energy ROM. Loads for the first time and all that. That way you know that it's working. As you can see here, all you're gonna do is when it pop up, you're gonna put open folders to view it. And remember when you copy that folder, I just paste it in here. We're going to wait for it to uh, load in there and then we go from there. But once you've copied everything, as you can see, it, it's here, it's on your SD card. Okay, all you do is uh, exit it out. And what you're going to do is when you go to your phone, okay, you're going to go to settings. Okay, when you get the phone, you're going to go to settings. See this? Hit tools. And you see where it says launch Android. Hit launch Android. Whoops. Let me do this first. Yeah, unplug it so that way you can read your memory card. Once you unplug it, uh, just go back. Tools. And see where it says launch, launch Android. Hit launch Android. 
And as you can see, look, it's booting Linux right now. As you can see. We're gonna set this down. As you can see, this is what it looks like when it boots up. And I'm gonna go over the front with you. See where it says Android? Yes, it's, it's working, so. And we're going to wait for the load up Android and we can go over the phone. So, as you can see, I'm going to let it sit. Like I said, it takes about 10 15 minutes for this whole process to work. Okay, and I'm back. So, as you can see, Android did load up. Let me get to where there's no player. You can see. Android. As you can see, see? Everything's working. So. Just want to skip through all this and I'm going to show you the phone. I'm just skipping through, guys, so don't mind. No way I can show you that it's working. So once once you click done, you can either or. So I click Launcher Pro and voila. As you can see, everything is working. See, Android. Sorry, here it is. Nexus. As you can see, the wallpaper. We're gonna set it. Voila. And you know, of course, I loaded some stuff that I already had and it saved it um, here you go what we're gonna do is we can go to a web and of course you know it does have flash player so that's what I want to show you see flash is working on it because it's running 2.2 for real and um, you know, I'm gonna go to my website, and uh, hopefully, you guys can go to autotradeking.com and uh, give me some support and sign up. And uh, we are giving away some free stuff in the future. Uh, right now, we're trying to get more people to come in. So, I'm gonna go to autotradeking.com. And I'm gonna click on forums. You see, it works in Flash, and uh, you remember my how to load a, uh, how to install the Android 2.1, of course it's on here, so you can see I clicked on the video, and um, it's going to play it, see, because Flash Player is just like a desktop, and uh, if you notice right here, see, this is on the web page itself, I'll just click on the video and it plays it, and of course I can, you know, make it big. It's just about double tapping and you see it's playing. But cool thing is I can go into it and put on YouTube. And watch this. It's playing off the website. Alright guys, that's it. Um, just wanted to let you know that everything is working and uh, have fun. Just give me some feedback. There it is, Android. Alright, hope you guys enjoy.